Are progression series not scratching that itch for jank? Is a tier zero TCG meta getting you down? Well, when the TCG gets tired and limited gets too limited, it's time for Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! A constructed series where four creative duelists build cool brews in a strange format. Here's how it works. Each episode, we spin a wheel containing every core set and most side sets from Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. The set the wheel chooses becomes the centerpiece of the format, granting each player three copies of every card printed in it. From there, the format expands like a wave, offering two of every card from the adjacent two core sets and one of each from the two sets beyond those. In addition, cards from all the promos and side sets in between are allowed at one, and all structures and starters from the time are allowed at two. The results? A format like no other. A meta where the power of Constructed meets the spirit of Jank. With those cards in their arsenals, the contestants will build the coolest decks they can think of and duke it out in a best of one bracket. Players won't just be fighting for the win though, but also for the hearts of chat, competing to be elected the People's Duelist at the end of every episode. What wild adventures lie ahead? We'll just have to watch to find out. Hello, kings, queens, and monarchs of every element. I am the one, the only, the RJB0, also known as RJ the Jank Monarch. We are back for another glorious episode of Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! This time, back again with our usually cast and crew, our usual cast and crew, Sophie and Golden Nova. Keegan wasn't able to make it to the wheel spin for schedule, contact, uh, schedule conflict reasons. How are y'all doing tonight? What are you two looking forward to from tonight's episode? That's an interesting question. I think the number one thing I'm looking forward to is 5Ds being back on the wheel. That's maybe my favorite era of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I want to get in there again, dang it. I think, so last time I was on here, me and Sophie both played Plunder Patrol and within a reasonable amount of time, new Plunder support was released. So, you know what that means, right? That means ah, we need to means... play X-Sabers this episode, so they release new X-Saber support. You know, I was going to do the same joke for Gladiator Beast, but X-Sabers are valid. Let's roll X-Sabers, baby! Oh, let's do no. it. All right, we're spinning. As usual, I would also love to just end up in the worst of the worst of GX. But we are landing on okay. Hidden Arsenal 6. Oh God, I can never what keep on God's of these. flat Neo? Earth is in this one? Okay, this is definitely an Xyz set. Omega Xyz. Oh, oh, is this the one oh. with like Vylon Dice Sigma? Yeah, Vylon Steel Swarm. We have the Gemini Gemini okay. monsters and Evagishki Gust Kraken. Ooh. Ooh okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, we, do we oh. have the Hieratics? Tell me we don't have the Hieratics. <laughs> You know what releases just before Omega Xyz? The Samurai yeah, Warlord <laughs> Structure Deck? Structure Deck, yes! Let's oh, we're back go. on my Samurai Garbage, baby! All right. Oh, no. So, July 24th, Hidden Arsenal 6, Omega Xyz. Let's take a look at the set with the fans. All right. Yes, we have the Lavals. Ooh, okay. We got a few of those. Uh, but we don't have notably rekindling at multiples for this. Uh, Thank goodness. <laughs> we yeah. do have the gem knights. Okay. And there it is, Evagishki Gust Kraken. So the, oh no. Hmm? Galactic Overlord is at two. Hieratic Gishki is on the table. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh. I am quite interested to see these core sets because outside of maybe exactly Gishki bullshit, the main thing I'm noticing about Hidden Arsenal 6 is that all of these cards are very bad. None of them are good. 
That is true. Although I will say that hieratics are significantly less strong the fewer of them you get. They're one of those things that has like real economies of scale. Yeah, like if you're not getting things that want to tribute and things that benefit from being tributing, it turns out having giant high level monsters is a lot less effective. Have some of the bad and Zek does. That's fun. We also have some of the good insectors. We have Dragonfly, Hornet, and uh, Centipede at one because of Order of Chaos being our first core set of the group. Uh, that's well, if insector players can make it work for so many years, I think we can make a crack at it. We also get the Dragon's Collide structure deck, which is interesting because I don't think that we get copies of... Um, of Dragoonity Phalanx for this one. Oh, I lied about what Dragons Collide is. Dragons Collide is absolutely the Chaos Dragons. Yeah, deck. I was gonna say. Ooh. I thought it was. Okay. And yeah, we got some Chaos Hieratic cooking up, maybe. Okay. Not a Hieratic sauce, I'm seeing. Uh, now, now, speaking of Dragoonities, though, I'm spying this list and I'm seeing this weird product called Dragoonity Blast. Does that have any bearing on our card pool right now? Unless it has a promo in it, I don't think so. I think we only look for original printings of sets for this. Okay. Then it does have Arma Levitin for any Dragoonity stuff, but uh, other than that, it's packed with like the actual Legion structure deck, but that wouldn't be the original printing. Okay. Oh, here's an interesting one. Our next core set, so our other core set that's at two is Return of the Duelist, which means that we get the basics of Girgia in this set. I bet there's Not some other Gear cool Gear. stuff. Yeah, it looks like we have the start of Spellbooks in here. Um, the start of Madoche, it looks like. Um, shout out to you, RJ. We have the Thunder Family cards in here as well. Though those cards really want to be at three, so I'm not sure how much we can do with that, but they're here. They are here, and that's always exciting for me to hear. Oh, we have compulsory escape device, but unfortunately, almost certainly not multiple co uh, copies of Wind Up Rabbit, Rip Chain Beat. Let me be the one to say, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That does mean, however, we get Heroic Champion Excalibur, and I know for a fact that we get Stratos and Bubble Man, which means maybe there's a Bubble Beat strat on the table? I expect that Chaos Hieratic is going to be the big breakout strat of this set, but it's a little tough to tell. Right, yeah, the scariest things I'm seeing are definitely that, which seems extremely powerful, but potentially bricky. Six Samurai, I imagine, has to be viable, right? Because she ends in there, right? Or am I crazy? Um, the structure... Oh, wait, no, this deck has banned It does not. Six Samurai is terrible, actually. I'm sorry, Nova. No! Although you do get Nachoria Beast from Gold Series Haunted Mine. That might be real. Oh, we get Gores. Excellent. How could we not? All right, get your uh, get your number lines ready, folks. Hey, here's some here's some cope for you guys. We do get the Realm of the Sea Emperor, which is the Atlantean structure deck, as well as Abyss Rising, which gives us one copy of all the first wave Mermails. So, like, there's maybe a deck there if you squint. Hell you yeah. Well. We can cowboy oh. for game. We can cowboy, we can game. cowboy for game. That's true. Look at him. Oh, speaking of Xyz monsters, we also get Abyss Dweller, which may be a way to out the Hieratic Chaos Dragon strat. Mm. Yeah, Dweller's huge. If someone tributes three for Steel Swarm Hercules, I will. I will just have to concede the game. <laughs> I. I don't know. I feel like I'm looking at probably the best archetype we have available in this week's rotation. Um, Hieratic Chaos Dragon feels like it has such a strong amount of synergy, really big monsters, really cool effects. But test hands just weren't 
providing what I was looking for. Uh, hands kept being mismatched. If you don't have the right amount of hieratics, then you can't trigger their effects very well. Uh, and our Xyz pool isn't exactly thrilling me. Uh, I feel like we should be using the Eclipse Wyvern to search out Dark Arm Dragon, but the amount of dark monsters we want to be playing in a deck like this is very, very limited. Um, I don't know. I think someone in here is going to have a better deck bu building prowess than I am, uh, and they probably also will not insist on playing Trihorn Dragon like I would have playing this, but I don't know. This just wasn't doing anything for me in testing. One of the things that kicked my butt during said training was this Gusto list piloted by Double from the Golden Nova Discord. Uh, it kept stealing all of my stuff, and you can use Squirrow in combination with the Torrential Tributes and Dark Holes to summon out Reese to facilitate all of that stealing. There was a bunch of really cool, tiny synergies, but after testing this out, uh, I feel like that all ended up being a really lucky draws. Uh, you could do some very frustrating things to your opponent, but in actual practice, I don't think this is the way to go. And so, I went with my gut and decided to play 49 card 6 Samurai, bolstered largely by the Samurai Showdown structure deck that was available during this time. Um, one of the issues though is that gaining access to Legendary 6 Samurai Shien is a little difficult, and that's because they didn't feel like they had to include that in this structure deck. Uh, the only warrior tuner that can be used to summon this is... She and Squire. We don't get asceticism and we don't get Kage Musha, and this seems really bad, but it does line up just well enough with Shien's dojo. Uh, typically we're using this to summon six samurais, but you can technically use it to summon Shien effect monsters. So if we uh, pair this with any of our level four six samurais, uh, normal summon it, get the counter on dojo, use it to summon the squire, and now we have a monster that negates spells and traps. Uh, the great Shogun Shien is a bit clunky, but we're hoping to get enough six samurais onto the board to make it live. Not only does it have a great attack stat, uh, it also limits our opponent's usages of the powerful spells and traps that are available because of Yugi's world. Uh, if they have a Raigeki or a Dark Hole, they can just you know, sequence it correctly to get this off the field so that our spell and trap window is no longer in effect. But if they don't have it, then we got a game going on. Uh, the rest of the deck is just the broken DM staples, the graceful charity, the pot of greed, change of heart, brain control, mind control, snatch deal, uh, double rotas because we can. Uh, we have Shan Smoke, Sigulture, the Kagekis, we have the Solemn Judgment, Skill Drain, Imperial Order, all this good stuff. And hopefully we can leverage a bunch of our level 4 synergies with some pretty cool rank 4s we have access to to close out games. Like I said beforehand, I don't think I'm on the most powerful deck, but I am on the one that I feel like I'm the most comfortable with. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays in the field today. I'll see all of you in a bit. There is exactly one good deck available in Hidden Arsenal 6 format, and that is Chaos Dragons. But naturally, I've never played a good deck in my life, so we're not doing that shit. I see Madoshe, I play Madoshe. It is just that simple. Now, if you're familiar with Madoche at all, you know this deck is missing a lot. Due to the limitations of the format, we are missing Angeli and Hootcake, which drastically reduces the explosiveness of the deck. We're missing a bunch of the later Xyz monsters and legacy support, meaning our ceiling is significantly lower than the deck would eventually be. But, all of that said, what we do have is the heart and soul of the Madoche strategy, the unbelievable resource loop created by Ticket and Chateau, turning every single one of your Madoshe monsters into a floater who goes even, or with both, goes plus one upon being destroyed. I think that means you can play Madoshe in this format as a sort of gadget-like strategy, using Chateau or Ticket to always keep monsters in rotation, back them up with the many, many, many powerful traps in the format, and given that the best deck is something very explosive, like Chaos Dragons that doesn't have a fantastic grind game, if you are able to outlast the initial onslaught, you should have a pretty good easy time grinding them out over the course of several turns. Although, surviving might be a big if. Let's talk through the cards. We have two Madoche Magellines at Exerto, which I could play three, but I cannot. 
two Mio Fiora summons a middle shake from hand, good for swarming, and especially for enabling Messenger Lotto. Which, when special summoned, where you control a beast type Madoche, such as any Madoche spell trap. Very good, because our spell traps are crazy. Mama Maid on Flip adds back a Madoche spell trap from hand. Not a very good card generally, but we are kind of hurting for names, and recycling a Chateau or ticket is extremely strong. One Chauvelier, this guy is basically a Vanetta, but it says Madoche on it, so we play it. Two Butler Esque, this card sometimes searches Chateau, which is really bad though. And one Bobble, mostly because it's funny. As for the spells, we have a bunch of generic good stuff. Change of Heart, Creature Swap, Dark Hall, absolutely fantastic card. Great for Charity, Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, Duality, Pot of Greed, Vigeki, Snatch Deal, Double Terraforming to search Chateau, as well as Ticket. You may notice we don't get to play the maximum copies of Chateau or Ticket, unfortunately, but what we do get is enough. We have five copies total of Chateau Ticket, with three incredibly powerful draw spells to help find them, and you really only need to keep one in rotation in order to outgrind any opponent. There is a lot of back row removal in the format between Duster, Heavy Storm, Double MST, and even more, but I got some plans for that we'll talk about in a sec. And for the traps, we have a bunch. Bottomless, Compulse, Deep Prison, Imperial Order, I I hate to do it, but this card is just so busted. Light Imprisoning Mirror, this might be risky to main deck, because if I play against Jank, I'm gonna get screwed, but I think I need this card to beat the Light Swan matchup. Two of Madoche Tea Break, this card is pretty cool. It is an Omni Negate for Light Swans, only, or for Madoche rather, if you have no monsters in your graveyard. That seems pretty good. We've built our deck with a low monster count to make sure we have zero monsters in grave. And then Tea Break allows us to negate stuff like a Feather Duster or a Heavy Storm that would otherwise completely blow us out. So that's why I'm running those, I think it's going to be pretty strong at keeping our trap strategy safe from blowouts. Then we have Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction, and Solemn Judgment, another defensive card. Solemn Warning, 2 Torrential, and the huge revolution is over. There are a lot of board wipes in this format, and this card is very good against them. One of the funny quirks of the format is that we have Starlight Road, but no Stardust, so huge revolution's just better. That's pretty much the deck. The extra deck does not matter. We're not gonna go in here much. Maybe make a tier in me soon. I don't know if we're gonna win with this. We might just get run over turn 1 by Chaos Dragon. But if we can manage to survive, we're gonna Magdalene into the fucking sun. Let's get it. Hey there everyone, Wave Motion, week 7. Very exciting week, very exciting week. A lot of cards that I, I'm excited to play with. I'm definitely not building this deck last minute, right before the uh, <laughs> right before the games are about to start. Definitely not shooting this as a, for a, from a screenshot from my my. Definitely not doing that at all. Definitely not what's happening here at all. I've been actually practicing this for months. Totally, definitely not. <laughs> uh, I I'm very familiar with this Chaos Hieratic deck, and I think it's one of the coolest decks Yu-Gi-Oh has ever seen. In this format, it's particularly disgusting because we have a suite of very busted spells and Future Fusion 5-Headed Dragon along to, alongside of it. So, I think this is just, it's just what I've got to play. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be a tryhard this week. I, I did not put enough time into my deck building process, but it, there's a lot of broken stuff here and hopefully I'll have a cool turn or two. Well, folks, I'm not sure what I was expecting to be playing today, but whatever it was, this was not it. This is Ubel Gusto? This is something that largely came from my deep desire to play something from Hidden Arsenal 6, no matter the cost to my ability to win the game, and I wish I was dead, suggesting that maybe Ubel is something we can summon in this format. See, we have double Mystic Tomato and double Sangan, and Ubel Terra Incarnate does destroy things by card effect, which is what the Gustos want to accomplish. 
I'm just not totally sure what the win condition is from there. Yes, all of these can do battle damage to your opponent by way of their own monsters. Yes, Reese has the ability to turn into a targeted creature swap, and we do have monarchs to work with and a variety of extremely powerful back row. Uh, and I guess we're just going to have to hope that that pulls together to win us the game. Let's go through the card by card, starting with Gusto Falco when it's destroyed by anything other than battle interesting stipulation you can special summon any gusto monster from your deck in face down defense position that's usually going to be kamui hope of gusto when flipped it summons a gusto tuner monster from your deck and then gusto squirro which is the real hit of the deck when this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard you can special summon one level five or higher gusto monster from your deck and that one is Ree's whirlwind of gusto there's no way i can be convinced to run more than one copy of this which is why we are only running to squirrel Ree's is a targeted creature swap if you have another gusto monster on the board which means we can take our opponent's best monsters and that's probably good enough we've got one flying kamakiri because it goes into all of our gustos double mystic tomato because it goes into both sandkin and our Ubel. and then we have the Ubel line Ubel d deals damage to your opponent equal to the attacking monster's attack when they are attacked and you have to sacrifice a monster during the end phase or it destroys itself. If it is destroyed by anything other than by its own effect, then it summons Terror Incarnate from the deck, which is Dark Hole once per turn and has the other effect of Ubel. Then if that gets destroyed, you get Ubel the Ultimate Nightmare, which is basically like the original Ubel, except instead of having to be attacked, you can proactively attack with it and this is probably the real win condition of the deck we've got kaiku kaius and ryza because they're the only good monsters we've chosen to run today we've got heavy storm feather duster dark hole creature swap pot of greed graceful charity pot of duality premature burial snatch steel brain con change of heart Raigeki and Monster Reborn because each and every one of these cards is independently busted and they generally go very well in our deck. Specifically, Creature Swap does extremely well with both the U-Bell and Gusto engines. We've got Double Torrential Tribute because they destroy our Gustos and that's pretty much what we want. I suppose Limit Reverse does a similar thing when it comes to U-Bell. If this card gets destroyed by any of the abundant spell trap removal, we can summon any of our dinky monsters from the graveyard. They'll get destroyed and then they'll get their effect. Effects. The same roughly goes for Call of the Haunted, but it can target things like Caius, you know, good cards, and finally a Bottomless and a Ring of Destruction for the monster removal. The things that are important in our extra deck are Digusto Freeze, a card I'm realizing now I may not even be able to summon, a Digusto Falcos, which is just a 1400 attack guy who I guess gains attack. Uh, th this is a this deck is a mess. Then we've got Scrap Dragon, Colossal Fighter, Hyper Librarian, Brionic, Gravity Warrior, and a bunch of Xyz monsters. We're probably not going to summon except Cowboy. This deck looks <laughs> really, really weird, but I'm excited to see what synergies it can put together. Let's get into the games. Do we go first or second? Now I think. I think we should go first, even without the extra card. I think this is the play. So I am interested to see. Because we are in a format that has a very, very clear best deck. And I'm curious to see if anyone actually played it or if we're all on garbage. Uh, oh. <laughs> I will tell you ahead of time, I am indeed on garbage. Uh, what is not garbage is the first card that I drew, which is, of course, Pot of Greed. Let's go. We yeah. have this card in far too many of our formats. Oh, that's not the worst, not the worst follow-up I've had so far. Um, let's, hmm. Oh, I have options. I have what oh, no. do I do Not again. With this? Not again. Don't let this man think. Last time I was here, Dragon like the Dragon Link gameplay scaled me so bad I had to sit out an episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm truly cursed.
truly cursed. Yeah, we take out it? turn one draw just to have pot of greed in the starting hand. <laughs> like, it's true. It's true. That's funny. Uh, how was it missing out on the first round of DM? Uh, did you miss out on all the DM staples that we have uh, that are not getting demonstrated today? You know, such as pot of greed. I'll say I watched last episode. I'm pretty sure we have more broken staples this time somehow. Like That's it's insane. Actually, probably true. All right, I'm gonna do a T set and pass. What? Now, after In all this that climate, thing, it's very important for me to tell you that what I T set here, both in the front row and in the back row, uh, was a big decision making process. Hmm. This T set was not done lightly. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm gonna do oh, something. Setting in this format. <laughs> what? Uh, no, it's okay. I'm I gonna do something. I have the best T setting deck. It's slightly more exciting than T setting. Okay. But I'm gonna summon some monsters who might be doing some tea drinking. I'm gonna run out my oh. Magiline. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, go! Yeah. This is so. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dopey, you are my hero. Listen, Dolce. I'm, I'm fiend in for the people's duelist. I'm not here to win. I'm here to win hearts. I'm, I'm going to tell you, this might be a pretty difficult episode to vote for you? the People's Duelist. I know who you won't want to vote for. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Keegan. Uh, we've got some good S for S yeah. turning out in the chat. Okay, Medolce. What is the deal with Medolce? They're all like dessert wow. characters, right? Oh, they sure yeah. are. The shit. Oh. They're just some sweet little guys, you know? Just some sweet little fellas. Just some sweet little fellas in a sweet little house that turns them into an endless resource loop, you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. And if that. the fact that they were all dessert people wasn't charming enough, they've all somehow found a way to do all that on puzzle pieces of like. Oreo cookies. It's amazing. That's yeah, true. I love them very much. All right, here's Chateau. Yep, yeah, that, that is hungry. indeed Chateau. Yeah, yeah, honestly, like, like I ate dinner, but it was pretty small, so I am kind of hungry. So, like, playing the stack is going to be a bit of a struggle, but we'll get through it. Oh, my. So this pumps up all their attacks. So now the Magellan is, is 1,900, right? Yep, yeah, and, and it I'm puts them sure. in hand when they die, which is the worst part. Pretty good. I'm gonna go swing in. See okay. what you're on there. I am on Mystic Tomato. And Sophie, <laughs> are you ready to see something happen that has not happened despite being available in two other episodes this series? Um, I'm concerned by that statement. For the first time ever, and especially for the first time this episode, we are summoning you, Bell, from the deck. There it is! Holy fuck! <laughs> okay, hold up. I've never read this card in my life. You've even though it's never been read this card for the majority of it. Not read you, Bell. <laughs> Incredible. What what does it do, RJ? Fill us in. Fill so us in. So you, Bell, when attacked, destroys the monster that attacks it and deals its attack points in damage to your opponent at the end of the damage step. The other thing that it does is it has to sacrifice a monster on your side of the field every single turn, otherwise it kills itself. If it dies by any method other than its own effect, it summons the next stage of you bell from the deck, hand, or graveyard. Oh, that's crazy. It is it's like nice. a thousand eyes, thousand eyes idol, kinda. Yeah, for sure. It's a guy. But I will say, RJ, um, base u -Bell does not destroy the monster at battles. I'm a fake fan. Oh, it doesn't? I feel like uh, nobody no. sticks on this card long enough for its effect to resolve. So I feel... <laughs> that does seem By the true. time you okay. reach before damage true. calculation, your just brain starts, like, sliding off. You're looking That's for any true. other card to read. That's I'm not even sure what to do about this. Like, I think all I got is one set and then do your worst, I guess. Okay, we'll draw for turn. Oh, we have some interesting stuff to work with. Uh, is this like approaching OTK world? 
Is this? What? I just believe No that. way. <laughs> you bill OTK? No, unfortunately, it is not meant to be this time around. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to do instead is we are going to normal summon Gusto Falco. Do you have a response no. to the normal summon? No. I mean, what am I to do? I am going to activate Torrential Tribute on summon. Uh, I, I see the nine. I have no response. All right. To the graveyard goes Augusto Falco and Ubel, and I will trigger both of their effects on destruction. Ubel will summon Ubel Terror Incarnate from the deck. And Gusto Falco this card levels up when it will summon uh, Gusto Squirro from Let's the go. deck. And in the same chain, my Magline will return herself to the deck, but due to the effect of Chateau, she will go back into my hand instead. Uh, and then during the end phase. We will destroy all cards or all monsters that are currently on the field. Let me make sure that there aren't any all other monsters on the field. That is correct. We're going to destroy Gusto Squirro and Gu Gusto, Gusto Squirro, a very difficult name to say apparently, will trigger summoning a level five or higher Gusto from my deck, which will summon Gusto Rees. Yo, all right, all right. It is your go. What a combo. What? That is so sick. That was so <laughs> great. I can't believe we are seeing the advent of Ubel Gusto. This is the best. <laughs> this is based. <laughs> what the... This is absolutely wild. And unfortunately, like, think about Ubel, right? That base Ubel is kind of mid, but Terror and Con, it's crazy. Like, wiping the board every turn, just sitting there like an asshole. It's really good. Uh, unfortunately, I have a little bit of an answer to it. I am going to normal okay. summon Madoche Mufiol and okay. activate its effect to summon another Madoche from hand. Okay. Then it's going to allow me to special summon Madoche Messengerado, who, okay. when summoned, will I control a beast type Madoche, adds a Madoche spell trap from my deck to my hand. Okay. That is actually a little bit of a decision here, right? So the obvious choice here is to pick up Ticket, because Chateau plus Ticket is just an absolutely unbeatable resource loop. Is Ticket in Abyss Rising? Ticket is that one in this format. I was convinced that Ticket is in Cosmo Blazer. Oh boy. <laughs> e. uh, what does do Ticket I... do? Uh, so Ticket, in addition to Chateau making all of your Madoches come back to hand when destroyed, Ticket makes them also into recruiters when destroyed. So you just plus every time a monster dies. Which seems oh pretty good in this scenario. But That's I think in this specific good. instance, I don't actually want to do that. I'm actually going to pick up Madoche Tea Break. Oh boy. Okay. You know, just a little spell trap negate for you. Just a friendly little spell trap negate. Yep, nothing to be too afraid of. Nothing to be too afraid of. I'm going to go ahead and swing into Reeves here. I will take 200. That you That's right, because they get buffed. Will. They do the so big. Gelato. They're big and strong. Gelato, but it's got like a bunch of like whey protein mixed in. Hell yeah. Absolutely jacked. Jim bro gelato, let's go. Hey right, Queen, I've got your delivery. I've got the uh, AG Athletic Greens. I've got the protein powder. I've got Muscles Weekly for you. I got everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In another life, Golden Nova works at a fitness gym. <laughs> <laughs> I can be the explain series after cheese is fitness to walk off all the weight you gained eating all the cheeses. Yo, <laughs> now we're talking. Anyway. The cinematic arc is going wild. Yeah, tricep workouts explained. <laughs> That's so much back row. What are you doing yeah. to me here? Okay. I mean, listen, listen I have a, I have a gate now for the feather duster. It's feeling pretty good. Okay. What's the game plan here? There are some things that we could conceivably do. Your deck is just the natural best matchup against mine, and that's a little bit annoying. 
and it works out nicely for me. I am going to normal summon Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Oh, Yo, that is my boy. An interesting choice. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. I am going to activate Change of Heart, targeting Medolce Messagelato. <laughs> oh, that is really interesting. So why are you doing this? You're activating this. This has you go into an XP if that's really good, but you also know I have a spell trap negate. So the question is, all right, Only this may be a little stupid, out. but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. I am going to Ring of Destruction my Messengelato. That's interesting. Mm. And that's actually pretty decent. Yeah, that is fine. Uh, I will take... Uh, actually, 2100. 2100. And I will pick that right back up. Okay. Uh, that's probably fine by me. Let's go to battle and let's attack with kaiku into Hold up. i actually don't know i don't know if the messenger gelato goes back to your hand i think it has to be destroyed by an opponent's card oh shit it does oh it that. does okay uh oh All right, i'm throwing that's yard. fine sure i'll take eight okay get back to me if you want would you like to banish my messenger gelato so here's a question Mufui is a oh god. Uh what it, how does Kaiku work under these this scenario? It isn't in the graveyard because Kaiku resolves before it goes to the graveyard. Uh we are yeah, going we to use Kaiku's Kaiku effect to banish message sure. lotto. Okay. Main phase two. Let's set a back row and pass, and this will get rid of Kaiku, unfortunately. That was a pretty it decent shall. play. Sag, goodbye, uh, Kaiku. Hmm. Sag. All right, so here's the position I'm in, right? If I can sit here against Terra and Connet forever, I don't know how the fuck I'm ever actually removing this monster from the field. It just... It just sits there. It's just vibing. Oh, wait. Was Banishing Messenger Lotto also a throw because the trap only works when you don't have monsters in your grave? It is, but listen, I was reading chat and just realized that I didn't read the trap closely enough and it's actually hot garbage. So, like, oh, no, okay. don't worry about it. What don't does worry the about trap it. actually say since we're thinking about reading now for the first time? Uh, well, you see, you know, it's... Uh, Naturally, when a spell trap card is activated, if you have no monsters in your graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it, right? Like, mm -hmm. clearly it destroys the card you negate. Like, what else would it do with it? Oh, no. <laughs> Surely. Oh, Surely. no. Oh, no. <laughs> this card Surely is terrible. Just, just get Pudding Sess onto the board. Like, I don't see the problem. Um, it's not great. It's not great. Um, okay. Well... A minor comedy of errors has occurred that put me in a bit of a weird position, but it's still a position where I get to normal summon Magdalene, so it's not that bad. That yeah. is not terrible. God, returning Magdalene off of Chateau is so stupid. Um, it's actually, pretty good. Oh? I, I want to do something about... Oh, no, you, you'll be able to search. I'm deciding if there's something that I need to do here. Sure. And I, I think I have to bottomless this because otherwise it's just going to keep going back to your hand and I'm not really sure there's much really? that I can do about that fact. Um, not to like give anyone any ideas here, but this would be a good time for a tea party. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Um, and I, 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 th I actually am gonna tea break that. Oh dang! Okay, yeah. That card's yeah, actually okay when you turn it to a trap card, I guess. True. I can't just reactivate it now. God. But also, also isn't. Oh, I could be wrong. What set is Medolce Magdalene in? It is it's in, in um, redo. Abyssizing. Whatever the one is that we have uh, a return of the duelist. So you do have it at two. Thank you, Sarah's coolest. Smiles, for your contribution of the comment, how can a game with this many queer people be bottomless? <laughs> True. It's hilarious. Baffles the mind. Uh, what, what am I picking up here? 
Uh, some dumb shit, probably. probably. Uh, I, I guess we just be smart, right? Like, we just thought a second magic line. I love how we have managed to recreate this episode of Prague Playoffs where nobody can do anything because of the Madolce <laughs> matchup. We really have. Me, it's because I control a U-Bell. <laughs> um, oh, that's actually a pretty decent card. Hmm. One of them decent cards. Why is this card not a tuner? These are real questions we have to ask ourselves. Probably for the same reason T Break says we turn it to the hand. Real. That's so real. Uh, let's set to back row and pass. Cool. Um, and we so will, Magdalene. I to inform you, send your Magdalene back Boop. to your hand. Boop. Magdalene doing the shuffle. I don't drop a ton. Hmm. A most intriguing situation we find ourselves in, RJ. True. In a format with 10 million busted spells, this has been a this has been a bit of a grindy game, which is kind of tight. Has been. Yeah, this is far from the pot of greed into graceful charity that I was expecting. <laughs> don't worry. Wow. Our duel oh, comes I'm, next. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, no. I tell you, shocked. <laughs> Bottom uh, yeah, this me, is you fine. Oh, fine. Okay. Um, That's crazy. This game might go to deck out. <laughs> it's well, starting to look like, like it. Out. Somewhere deep in the depths of this deck is a win condition. And at some point, I am going to draw into it. Listen, I Copium. got a plan. It's coming together. Don't even worry. <laughs> we'll draw for turn. That's not nothing. What does that do under these circumstances? Not really what I want it to do. Um. Okay. God, that accomplishes absolutely nothing under these circumstances. Dude, this card, it, it, only you only get to inflict the damage when it's attacked. Yes, there. Yep. It's next evolution gives you the ability to be proactive, but unfortunately, I have drawn into no ways so far to get into its next evolution. Uh, which I, I will spoil for you now may or may not be the reason I'm having trouble finding my win con. <laughs> That's the U Bell special, baby. Three level evolutions. Isn't, isn't it the level 11 monster already good enough? Like, come on. <laughs> oh, What's we hilarious? need to go to 12. The final evolution is actually arguably worse than the second one, but is the only I would not argue about that. You, it is the only one you get to be at all proactive with, which is just so funny. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's so, it's so I bad. Afford. If only you could just cra crash it. I know. It. It's it's really, it's what? really awful. I have found an anti-synergy in my deck that's really making my life difficult, so I'm going to pass. <laughs> like the effect of Madonna Magdalene, yep, if you don't I'm mind. I'm just giving you infinite cards from your deck. Uh, don't mind me. Jay's on pace for deck out here. It's true. Could it be? It could be U Bell deck out. I mean, we do have Morphing Jar and Cyber Jar legal in the format. Getting to ten cards could be scary. <laughs> Every deck was secretly empty jar the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> uh, this may be stupid. But I, I'm, I, I just want some Yu-Gi-Oh to happen, man. I just want to be a little proactive. Do I? I might actually be lying to you. I actually don't want to do that at all. Or do I want to do that? No, yeah, I think I actually do. I actually do. Uh, double. Okay. Uh, we it begins. Will... Yeah, that is fine. We will use Terror Incarnate's effect. Bottom warning. I. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's a card. That's, yep. That is yep. That does it. Fine. That that is a okay oh. by me. I was. And now the time has come to do 
my signature move. Normal summon, but I'll say imagine I activate a bat. Uh, that is perfectly a-okay. Yeah. Epic. Um, let's just get Sovalier. Okay. You're telling me U-Belt can be destroyed by card effects? For the, the whole time I'm sitting here thinking it can't be destroyed by card effects. That's why it can, it's good. It, like, sticks around. <laughs> no. I mean, it floats. That's cool, but... Okay. Uh, uh 1900 is fine here. You're damn right it's fine here. Main phase two, I'm going to set one more back row, and it's back to you. It's a, it's a large amount of back row. Draw for turn. It's a few. Oh, that's hilarious. What is that your own Gemini me? Elf doing pretty good here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, this Gemini Elf that touches more Gemini Elves seems kind of busted. True. True. Unkillable, so too. So this is kind of cute. The cuter than Magdalene? I don't know about that one, RJ. Yeah, that's going to be a tough call. <laughs> there might be a way that I can kill you right now. Mm. He says for the third time this is doing <laughs> <laughs> this time, this time it's for sure. true. okay truly uh, we as Yu-Gi-Oh personalities are cursed to repeat the same five phrases you've activated I my trap card ah, there we go, go there's one um let's try for a limit reverse is that okay most no intriguing choice. That is fine. Uh, we will target the fucking squirrel. Squirrel. I guess. Yes! Let's go! Yo, okay. Okay. We'll calm uh, one. And then. And then. I'm going to tribute summon. Oh. Ryza the Storm Monarch. Oh, that's a good card. What the fuck? And we are going to declare its effect. I'm going to target this back row. That is fine. Regrettably, go back to top of that. Okay. Snatch deal. I just I just need you to know the card you rise on. I just need you did to I know what you did to prison? me. Oh, I got the <laughs> I just let's need go. you to fucking know. Let's fucking go. Dude, let's go. That's sick. Oh, wow. Yes. Let's go, based. You, <laughs> Bell Gusto. Oh, my gosh. That's so hype. I think. <gasps> How did that it was... work? God. It was probably correct for me to just keep playing the Terra Incarnate dance until I found a better out than that, but. Silva, good luck. Have fun. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and, um. GLHF. There we go. Gotta do that. Gotta be a good sportsman. All right, chat. What am I picking in rock, paper, scissors? Need the intel. Need your strength right now. We're crowdsourcing the RPS, folks. Damn. I'm crowdsourcing it. Dad, I need your help. I honestly, I can't do this alone. Let's go. Okay, that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. There we go. All right. <laughs> yes. Worked for weeks on this deck, so... Oh, yeah, I need to see cards. what your your months Optimal of strategy ratio. has done. 49 cards. Yo, 49 let's cards. go. <laughs> Golden Nova came prepared to beat you, Balmail. That's true. There are just I too many good go. cards in this format. You're right, there are too many. So many that I can't play anything in my entire hand. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, let's go. If we're talking okay, you about know the 49 cards, it's deck, only fair that uh, you. I think it wouldn't be fair of me to shut you out after all these uh, weeks and months of preparation. So go ahead. That would, yeah, be, yeah. It would be a little bit nice. sad. Oh, I drew nice. a playable card. Hell yeah. Nice! Keegan, the reason you're bricking is because you weren't on either the Gusto U Bell or the 49 card deck. Uh, that's why you're True. bricking. True, if only I had a Magdalene about now. <laughs> <laughs> How was Normal Summon Magdalene the most explosive tone one in this format? What is going on? Oh, Lips Wyvern. Lips All right. Wyvern. Here we go. It's time to attack directly. Ah, it's going right to my face. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna, this is going to be a slow one, <laughs> ladies sick, and gentlemen. Sick, sick. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Let's try... 
is worse than most Edison openings. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bad. Um. <laughs> all right, here's a Sheehan Squire. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Okay. He's doing it. Uh, resolving creature swap. Let's what? go! <laughs> Y'all wait! Wait! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta read this card. Tricky damage calculation. Monster can I be. I don't even know what this card. I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna read it. If it has okay. an effect. <laughs> Cliff notes it's a hand trap, but only specifically for saving your six Sams in battle. Okay. Alright. Good to know. 13. Good to know. Bye. All right. See you later. Um. Enjoy. Shall do what I must. Oh, that's a really bad draw. Okay, hold up. Hold. Hold everyone. Wait. We have some plays. Okay, we have some. We have some options. One might say. Are you sure? <laughs> do we? Maybe. <laughs> no, he he's prepared for weeks. He knows the matchup. Guys, That's relax. I, I swear, I swear I can do this. Okay, what does this guy do? Hold, 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 hold. Hey, what does Eclipse Wyvern do? Level 7 or higher, lighter dragon, dark monster from your deck. Okay, I'm breaking the kayfabe on this one. This is your card. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, sorry. Oh, months, of, months of preparation might have fried my brain. Um, <laughs> so that's the, the free so special the summon. Yes. <laughs> Can't attack during the turn and special summoned. Um, I still don't like you having tribute access. No. Oh, oh. There's the warning, Keegan. Show us your incredible follow-up play. That's oh. not a bad follow-up. Alrighty, play. boom. Okay. That's something. Not like this. Okay, we're gonna. Get oh, to okay. So oh, shit. Yo, tribute summon dog oh, So good. Yeah. Oh, this is. Unbelievable. One from my hand and one from my deck to the graveyard. We'll send another wyvern. Hmm. Go you know, banish. someone's about to do something crazy when they casually um, discards dark armed. Oh, we're banishing the banishes, second dark armed. Uh, the red med. <laughs> oh. Well, the game is now over. This is. Okay. Oh my god, the game is literally over. <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh, Dark Flare even... does it. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. <sighs> what just <sighs> after the agonizing game that Sophie and I had? Keegan just casually tributes uh -huh. Dark Flare to trigger the Eclipse Wyvern and get the Red Med for game. That was brutality. Samurai taking on Medolce's. A classic matchup. Yeah, it A actually matchup. is. Yeah. It's time to bring to bear the power of my Ginsu knives to cut through all these ingredients. Time for me to bring about the power of... I don't know, long-term health issues due to consuming too much sugar? I don't know. Let's Ooh, go! Yikes. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I Looks gotta like... say, Nova. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, it feels like we meet each other a lot down here in Luther's finals. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, it's, a bit it's of a weird. Tradition. Hmm. I don't know how that keeps happening. Like, I, I don't think either of us has ever played a bad deck on this show. I no. I mean, what was we played last time? We played Plunder, which is objectively one of the best decks. Mm -hmm. Um, and then my short-term memory doesn't go further than that, so I uh, this joke doesn't go anywhere. Uh, anyway, we're still in turn one draw, right? No, Good we question. do not do turn no, one we're getting right ever for this series anymore because <laughs> best of one formats, truly the most skillful. Um, I love how Golden Nova waited till after our game where I went first to say we're still on turn one draft. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn went so fast! How can I keep up? That's true, that's you true. like snap hit the end phase button <laughs> too quickly. <laughs> it was the classic, I'll make them think they're going first so they don't OTK me maneuver. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, Alright, right, we're gonna <laughs> Rota. Yeah. Okay. That's Best card in format. All right, uh, grabbing Anishi. Not oh, the card God. I expected you to search, but that's a good one. Love uh, this guy. We're gonna slap Temple of the Six on board. Let's go. That's pretty hot. What the? Normal that Nova. Anishi. Uh huh. Nova, I love you so much. 
How are you possibly playing this card in 49? That is it makes <laughs> more Bushido counters. How are we possibly And gateways too. <laughs> Damn. Gateway is indeed at two. If only there was a way I can make myself more consistently draw one of my two gateways. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Sophie, you come back with me with the exact percentage uh, that would take, and um, we'll, we'll discuss that at that point. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will. But not now. Now, I gotta make some big plays. Uh, and by make some big plays, I mean activate Graceful Charity. Sick. That oh, is the shit. biggest play we've got in this format. Go right ahead. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, then we got some discards. Um, mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to discard one of the cards I bricked with against RJ that I was main decking, expecting people to be on <laughs> Chaos Dragons. What are you talking about? You have to negate the Anishi with it. <sighs> I do. That is true. That is actually true. I'm kind of throwing. Um, How does Anishi work? You can banish two six samurai monsters. Target one phase the monster on the field, return to the hand. Oh, that's pretty good. It puts in some work. Surprisingly powerful. I love that the opener was this and not Zanji. The slightly larger, basically, of vanilla on field. <laughs> Thankfully, Temple of the Six will make him equivalent to Zanji. So that is true. That. true. That is true. You've got me there. Alright. I might be the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh player on Earth because I did open Magellan again. There we oh are. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, that is clear. I am gonna pick up my Dolce Mesen Gelato. Yep. And then it's time to make one of my favorite plays in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm gonna set one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set two. Mm -hmm. No. I'm gonna set three and you bet your ass I'm setting four. Can't quite set five, but that is okay. I will end my turn. That is Nani. a turn. Another grind fest. Six Samurai versus the Magdalene. Can his sword cut through the cake? That's the real question. Mm. I don't know. If there's one thing I'm known for, it's having some mighty cake. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, um, no guts, no glory. Give me that. Uh, what's the trap card activation? I'm going to go to battle phase and attack. That is perfectly fine. I will... Monetized. Oh, wow. Uh, what am I taking? 400? Uh, yep, that's 400. So do and, you think um, the Dolce's are all like one of those everything's a cake cakes? Like if Anishi <laughs> slices open Magilide, is she just like a bunch of fondant over a cake? Maybe. That... We can't introduce that because I'm going to start thinking about it, and that is the most eldritch abomination thing that I've seen in a long time. It is a little horrifying. Sentient cake. I like the idea of that. Sentient cake. I don't like the idea of that because I like eating cake, and I am horrified by the idea of the cake shrieking as I eat it. Well, RJ, Fair. then let it be known that you are going to have to live in perpetual guilt that whenever you bite into a delicious slice of birthday cake, you are murdering this cute little kitty. Oh, no. Although I do like it when I eat cake and they shriek. I do like the suffering. <laughs> please, suffering please of, of cease. You are welcome, YouTube ad wow. algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is too much. This is too much. I didn't even get it. Oh my god, I'm out of my element, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chat's just everybody's hitting dot 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 in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you've got the new fleet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna summon Messenger Lotto. Activate a fat. Uh we're gonna book targeting the Mew Fui. Um oh that does walk, doesn't it? That is interesting. The question is, how much do I care about that? And the answer is actually a lot. I uh, behold the stupidest solemn judgment of my life. Literally. Oh, 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 oh. some power. Okay. All right. All right. Some power. Yeah, I think, I think we were bound to run into Walter's macro eventually. It's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna happen. Ooh, and if I do so recall. We are not in the era of new field spell draws yet, so I will that be getting rid of the most correct. scary card on your board, Temple of the Six. True. True. Here goes the Bushido counter. Darn. <laughs> Dang. 
<laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, I'm gonna I wish with there was a though. continuous card in Six Samurai that added Bushido counters uh, that wouldn't have been destroyed by that Medulce Chateau. I don't think I there guess, is I guess we'll never know. We will simply never know. Okay. Six Samurai might have gone crazy. Well, here's here's what I'm thinking, though. Okay. Yeah. I think playing Temple of the Six was the smartest decision I've ever made in my entire life. Oh, <laughs> second Temple! No! no. no. Uh, fucking owned! <laughs> destroyed. Uh, and then we're going to see if this resolves. Oh, I Jackie, it's interesting. I need to actually think about that. Okay, did you say Medulce Chatoned? Is that what you said? <laughs> I didn't, but I should have. You were really oh, sure really now. Funny. All right. You know what? If you have, if you have feather duster in there too, I will just get on. Unfortunately, Nova, I will not be allowing you to do that. The no. huge revolution is over. Wait, this oh, card wow. is in the format? I thought it was yeah. just Starlight Road. Oh boy. This card is that one, and it's really good in this format. I think. It's really good in this format. Dang, that's scary. Okay. So I still have to deal with a house cat and an underpaid UPS worker. We can make this work. Still. Correct. Correct. Uh, we will smoke signal. Okay. That's a good one. All right. Temple of the six god. He's going to search for... I'm going to get hand. Hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, temple of the six is going to reduce my monster to low enough attack point for hand to kill it. That's You're right. About to get owned by the <laughs> well, greatest it field that at all. Print. Oh. It won't. It actually will not do that. Okay. Well. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Now I simply pray you never find a monster that does anything. That was a lot of trap cards. My goodness. I'm going straight to bed. Uh, okay, 16. Wow. And fuck it. We, we always attack with the kitty. I am no coward. Wow. Oh, actually, um, I am still under Temple of the Six, so you actually take 100 less damage from both I... of those attacks. Oh, I'm so it's happy. Not just <laughs> battling Six. It's just. In just... You're saying. We didn't go Temple of Mist. We are on Temple of the Six. Amazing. They call him Six Samurai Drizzy Drake, Temple of the Six God. What are we doing? I don't. Here? I don't know about anybody else. I'm not sure I do that, but we'll go with it. Hmm. <laughs> what are we doing here? You're gonna keep hey. attacking me, is what you're gonna do? Nova, I have a hypothetical question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, would you say just like in theory that like? you would have drawn into a copy of Torrential Tribute? Like, would you have done that, do you think? I mean, th there's a possibility in all of existence that, that could happen. Yes. Did. I think I'm a coward. Go, Messengelato! That's right, that's right! Show me you the keep mirror, attacking. of course. Nah. I will. I will. I'm gonna hit you with the cat, too. Fuck it. That's right! <laughs> Highest value Mew for you. Alright, <laughs> let's go. The Dolce's don't back down! <laughs> I concur. Okay. They should um, not. Normal Anishi. That, that's pretty uh, good. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's a real monster. All right, cool. <laughs> Down those. I'm using 200 attack now. Uh, go to battle phase? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Attack a mailman. I can't believe you're Is following that man in the mail at all. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> I mean, that's a good question. Nova, unfortunately, is following in the footsteps of the Republican government of the United States and demolishing the postal service, but I guess we just need to live with that. Look, if your bakery slash delivery post isn't turning a profit, then it doesn't have a place in a functioning nation. That is oh, true. Shit. I don't know what to tell oh. you. Golden Nova secretly red-pilled? Golden Nova based? <laughs> <laughs> we turn on the face cam. I have, like, the hair parted. It's all gelled. I have You're the actually up. Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> all right, so hypothetically, if you gave... I'm scared uh, to dolls proceed with that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going uh, with any of this? 
fortunately for us all, the, uh, you know, possible Republican poser is gonna get punished for his sins. I do feather duster. Yeah. Yikes. The huge revolution truly over, or they gonna, oh. No. Nope. <laughs> Temple of the Six destroyed. And listen, Nova, you know, I, I know you love your samurais, you know, I know you really like those cards, and I want to see what they're all about, so I think it's my turn with the Six Samurai, if you don't mind. Yikes! Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you enjoy them. They're, um, they're very cool. I think I will, and I will also run out of my favorite thing about this match is uh, between Sophie and Nova, we have only seen the successful summon of four monsters, like four monster names, despite like a million normal summons happening here. It's <laughs> very dumb. <laughs> All right, you are not dead yet. All thanks to the temple, I might add. Without Wait, those attack productions, this game would be over. Oh my god, it's through the 200 coming through. <laughs> Incredible. But will the 200 be enough to get you there in the end? There's ever time for a mirror force. Not at all. No. no you uh, rip. Uh, Sad. Excellent gameplay. Sad. Truly excellent. I think what we've really learned today is that Imperial Order is just a bad card. Like, have we seen it Imperial is. Order accomplish anything? All right. Good luck, have fun, RJ. Good luck, have fun. Uh, I need to know right now. Rock, paper, scissors. I'm not capable of thinking on my own today. I need. I need. He's burned out his brain on all of the on all of the testing. Really. Uh, the months of testing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The months of testing. Really. Uh Okay. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Oh. I'm gonna try right. something crazy. We're gonna go first. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. He's kooky! He's mad! I'm out of my mind. Oh, this hand is life. not good going second. Uh, congratulations. No, I'm sorry, RJ. I'm just, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you invented the format. Hey, all, all I'm saying is you invented the format. Like, I don't... True. I don't... Yeah, I just... Okay, we're gonna seal. Okay. Yes, this is gonna grab us. Sit. Okay. Then we're gonna charity. Oh my god. You say I've invented the format like I haven't for the last three episodes that contained DM staples said, yo, maybe we should make a permanent van list to deal with this shit. And you haven't done it yet, so ergo, you allowed this. Because Keegan RJ, is like, no, 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 we play with the format we're given. RJ, 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 uh -huh. RJ, RJ. Uh -huh. RJ. <laughs> how... How do I say this? How do I say this? Um... This, Oh, gonna get I feel comforted gross. in the fact that you at least can't delinquent duo me here. Oh no, no, I can't delinquent duo you, but I can, you know, I can do some stuff. Oh god. <laughs> I can do some stuff this this game. Keegan don't open painful choice challenge impossible. I know, right? I'm definitely going to send both these guys. We'll probably banish step okay. So that's 3 or Mhm. Mm Hmm. And probably Tefnoid is fifth. Okay. Now we need to banish two cards. We're gonna banish Dark Armed and mm -hmm. Red Eyes. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. And that red looking pretty mid. All I gotta say. My god, this is crazy. I've been to so many good cards here. What the hell? My god. Okay. Uh. I mean, I'm not sure the. Opened pre mat Best way to yeah, I did open pre mat, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ almighty! Oh yeah. no. What can yeah, be I'm said? I'm really sure um, if this is like the best line, but I'm just I'm just sort of like winging it at this point. It does not what? appear to be a bad line. I will tell you that. <laughs> what do I remember from your deck? You played Gusto. 
True. Stick tomato. Mm -hmm. We just pass. Okay. Draw for turn. That is somehow more terrifying than building a giant board this turn. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is actually truly. <laughs> Keegan, don't Let's... say that. Really Let's see what we got. My here. hand is very good. I'm gonna pot a duality. Okay. Now, there's some there's some sauce in here. None of those cards are that sauce. It actually turns out. Um, Add you bell? Add you bell? Maybe for the fans. <laughs> all of these cards are terrible in the face of Demock exactly. Uh, I think. Try baby. We take Demock. Tomato here. Listen, RJ, I'm just gonna say, you know, as the arbitrator of this series, I would allow you to just cheat and set your bell for free if you wanted to. I, I appreciate that. I, I may actually need that in the face of this demock. Um, let's set a monster and a back row and pass. It's tough. It's tough. God, you really Let's... opened graceful future fusion pre mat D mock. Oh, I opened I opened some stuff, RJ. I opened some stuff. We're gonna we're gonna hit the gates. Hit the not hit the gates. What is it? Open the swinging in the gate. Open what is the, the word gates? Prefer? Open the the attack. We're gonna attack. Anyway, uh, we're going to use Kamui, Ye the hope of gusto here, to summon ourselves a tuner from the deck. Yo, yeah. RJ picking up Mystic Tomato to bluff out the Kamui. I am going to, that was the plan. I'm going to summon, let's summon ourselves a Squirro in defense. That's not a Squirro, it's a yep, Falco. That's a, no. <laughs> God, I love dueling. Hold up, okay. I gotta... I gotta read this card. What does this guy do? This card uh, is face We're not gonna field. worry about this card because I'm not summoning it. Okay, you're gonna get the Squirro. I am getting the Squirro. It's crucial. It's cr crucial. Squirro is Squirro is what we get. Truly adorable. Truly. If you're destroyed by a card effect. You can spell someone level five or higher. Gusto from your oh, thing to the thing. Uh, okay. Um, that's cool. That's a cool effect. I don't really like that. So we're gonna we're gonna change of heart. Create your monster. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Right, and then we're gonna tribute summon mm -hmm. Piratic Dragon of Sue. I believe we don't have effect. Do we have effect priority in this? I believe we don't. We do not. But, it did get okay. changed exactly this format. Was the summon of this card okay? That's perfectly fine. All right, I'm gonna activate the effect. Uh, that is going to be met with a Call of the Haunted targeting my Squirrel. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so I, I tribute for cost. I have to tribute mm -hmm. the Hieratic Dragon of Eset. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to be able to Squirrel. Mm -hmm. That gets destroyed. Yep. And then we will use its effect, and I will summon... Oh, I don't know if we can. I it's a win effect. We can so because it's destroyed. It it's destroyed chain link one. Yeah. Is? Yeah. Uh, it forms a chain link with E set. Oh, right, right. So, okay, my bad. I was flopping that over in reverse. A squirrel would resolve it be chain link two and E set would be chain link one. So E set is going to summon out Wattail Dragon from my graveyard. Okay. Yep. That is a whole card. One entire card. So what does your card do again? Once return, you can return one card from your hand to the bottom of the deck to target one monster you control. One face up, switch control both monsters. Okay, so you can creature swap me. Cute. I can creature swap you at the biggest neg in history. Got a mystic tomato. All right, we're gonna overlay. Okay. Um. Now this might not be the best play. We're gonna okay. summon. Oh, Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Oh, M7. Cool. Okay. Um, yes. um, um. And then we're gonna use his ability. I'm gonna return your monster to the hand. That's okay. Yeah. Then we'll pass. Okay. Draw for turn. That's something. What does that do for us? Good question. Yeah, that was wrong. You might not have done the best play. Yeah, oh, Keegan, if I'm I looking at your graveyard. <laughs> I'm thinking about what we know you have in hand. 
I don't think you need to be too concerned about making the optimal plays in this position. Potentially. I get screwed by like a sweeper or two. Who knows? Who knows? The rapid approach of a five-headed dragon is a little bit concerning. I know you have level five guy and I know you have Mystic Tomato. So you got four cards or less to work with here. Okay. And we still have Graceful in hand. You just haven't activated Graceful since you summoned that Democ. Uh, what are the chances that the other thing you have in hand is like a DDR or something like that? I think I have to act as if you don't have it because if I try to do anything else, I'm just going to die. So we're going to pay 8 for pre map. And pretty I good. summon a Squirrel. Yep. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I wish I knew which extra deck monsters were in the format. I would have maybe sequenced the last turn a little bit different. But in all my studying, I mean, I really had to practice the opening of Graceful Charity, Change of Heart, Premature Burial, Future Fusion, Demon. Really Democ. true. V very yeah, important that's, that's You can't have with. room for everything. Yeah, right. unfortunately, couldn't fill out my extra deck because I was just too busy focusing on the stuff that happened so far but yeah you know what it paid off i think the play is to tribute summon caius the shadow monarch and up. declare it targeting democ oh, that's fine oh is democ the target and this point we are in danger of just getting killed really badly if yeah, 5, I think we actually do have, have to yeah. target the future fusion here, just because 5,000 attack gets me so close to lethal. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then we'll attack in with Caius over M7. Uh, main phase two, I will set a back row and hope. <laughs> it's kind of good. Let's attack. Okay, uh, that is fine. I take 400. All right, we'll pass. All right. There are a couple of cards in my deck that just like own you right now. Better asking, why do we put M7 in defense last turn? We know he has Mystic Tomato in his hand, so he could crash into M7 and go get u bull if I didn't summon it in defense position. Okay. That's not the worst turn that I could have here. All right, uh, let's Raigeki. There are the sweepers. And then let's normal summon the card I have been waiting to resolve this entire game. Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. That's pretty good. Uh, now you have zero darks in grave currently. That's correct. I think we're going to go to battle. There's also just a world where you have gores, and if you do, I get owned, but like I have to try for it anyway. And we're oh, going to good. declare Kaiku, and what we're going to banish is Wattail Dragon and Light Pulsar Dragon. All good. And pass the turn. Someone said banish the Wyverns? <laughs> yeah, <I'm trying. laughs> Just donate a Dark Arm Dragon to you. All right. Well, if you have order, you have order. I don't have order. That Hell yeah. Is Back again for round two. God, I did not realize we had Democ in the format. Oh, sweet. I'm just, just, just casually putting a dark in the grave. Okay. Yeah. One step closer. Me. God damn it. Ah, no. well. I mean, if you resolve Graceful Charity twice and, like, premature, uh, you know, whatever the fuck that card's called. Uh, future painful burial, then, like, yes. I guess you're just the greatest player to ever live. And, like, this you're guy, um, mind, right, Gacky? This guy, good? Is this something good? Yeah, that is perfectly fine. Okay. At this moment in time, I will normal summon Esset. Oh! Okay. You have not normal summoned this turn. Yeah, that's fine. And we shall banish to mm -hmm. special summon the darkness metal. Yep. 
we will activate turning. Ooh. Yep. Then we'll activate Sue. Targeting your back row. That unfortunately Sue. does it. I have the limit reverse, but I am only running one level five or higher uh, gusto no. in my deck, so I cannot use Squirrow's effect again. Years oh. of research paying off. Ah, that was a that not was a God, victory man. by Keegan. Oh, uh, if it close. wasn't exactly Raigeki, I had the limit reverse tomato in order to go for Brionic, which probably actually won me the game next turn. Uh, there's a second yeah. Squirro, incredible. But god okay. damn, opening future fusion demock graceful charity. What is it like to yes. be that good at Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, truly gifted, truly the villain of this arc. I'm, I'm, I made a contract with the Abyss in order to summon, or not summon, to draw like this. With every, with every episode, there is somebody who has won, who has won the crown of the winner of Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh. But there's also a person who may win a different title, and that is the People's Duelist. So we are going to start uh -huh. a poll. Who is this week's People's Duelist? All right. No, I'm this is starting off strong. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh <laughs> things are so tight. This is a tight race. Hey, we actually have a bit of a tie. Whoa. Yeah, wow. A little, bit of a little bit of a tie action. We've got a lot of hashtag S for S in chat, so I know where these votes are coming from. All right, folks. You have about 20 seconds to exercise your right to vote and decide who becomes the people's duelist. Yeah, we still have a time. We almost have I know a there's two more guy. people in the audience almost, who loves oh, I know there's three oh. more people in the audience who love Six Samurai. I know they're there. All right, folks. I can't we know what we're doing. Well, we know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, come on, come on, Six Samurai Change people. We got a couple right seconds now. left. 10. Wasted their vote on me. Whoever did that. And <laughs> at the very last oh. second, we have a tie vote. Oh, oh my god! Between me Crazy. and Toby, that was the hottest vote for people's duelists I have ever seen in this series. That kit was intense. That was definitely intense. I think I would be happy to share this, but it sounds like chat is out for blood, Sophie. Would you like to have a fair and square runoff election? Listen. All right, starting off strong, let's go. All right, let's go, Jim. Okay, we're back at another tie. Okay, I'm I'm liking this. It seems like we're neck and neck, but I'm usually the first Ooh. one out in front. Oh, okay. Oh, we're still tied. Okay, it's really close. All right. All right. Come on, give it to Come me. On, Come 30 on. 30 seconds to go, folks. Exercise your right to vote. Madoshe Mufua wants your vote. This this vote is tighter than Keegan's game versus Nova. I uh, oh that game was very close. Yeah. Yeah. Got, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, very folks. Close duel. Come on, folks. You Bell Gusto. We got to see the non-binary representation on here. Let's see it get a vote. Oh, Let's a go. Tie. I'm, I'm Back into the tie game. Oh come on. You tie want vote. Tie, tie you vote. Tie again. Tie Not again. Tie. Wait. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Well, the people have spoken. I think there's only one way to settle this. I think there's only one way to settle this. One way to settle this? To okay. I have to play for it. Oh, shit. Oh, uh -huh. I have been owned in the only duel that matters. Uh, that's going to be the end of the game, Dora. Um, uh, actually, never mind. This hand is penis. It's very bad. This hand is also <laughs> a little bit of a struggle. I'm not going to... Oh! All right, graceful charity. <laughs> anyway, yeah. after all of that, I'm getting buddied by chat and getting buddied by RJ too now. All right, we're gonna draw one. We're gonna draw. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, we're going to send Reese the Whirlwind of Gusto, and we're also going to sell send the U Bell that I just casually drew. Let go. Uh, and we're gonna normal summon Mystic Tomato. It's time for Mystic Tomato beats. Battle phase. Let's go. Hell yeah. Main phase two, we're gonna set a back row, Yorko. 
truly the arch enemy of the sweets deck. Horrifying vegetables. True. I said healthy. What the fuck? Wait, Mr. Tomato really is the, the exact opposite of a madolce. <laughs> like, the madolce is are like desserts that are really cute. Mm-hmm. And Mystic Tomato is a healthy food that sucks ass and I hate. <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's almost like this is a kid's game or something. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I do terraforming. Okay, that's pretty good. I am going to search Madolce Chakio. That's a card. I would like to activate it. Is that okay? You are perfectly free to activate Madolce. Most excellent. And then... Boop. <laughs> okay. Stop that. It's not very exciting, but we're no. here. Okay, draw for turn. Um, Now, I have a couple of plays, one of which is, like, really, really funny. The mm-hmm. other of which is only kind of funny. Ah, um, you know what you got to do. All right. I am going to normal summon Sangan. Sangan's fine. Okay. Let's see what you got down there. Dua. Okay. What did you set? Oh, Medolce Mew. You know. Let's divide in. Let's go to battle. Attack into Sangan. Yeah, I suppose that's okay. All right, let's declare a Sangan. And I am going to add to my hand. There are so many cool things I could add to my hand off of Sangan. If I were a good player, I would have put Tour Guide from the Underworld in here. Mm, that would have been pretty good, huh? Uh, but unfortunately, I am not a good player, it turns out. Um, let's add to our hand. God, I really have no good searches for this in my entire deck, do I? Let's add uh, Gusto Falca. All right, all right. Funky little buddy. And I'll pass turn. Cool. I will draw for turn. Chat, I'm not going to search Squirrow when its only target in the deck is in my graveyard. <laughs> now what? And whose fault is that, RJ? True, true. <laughs> Wait, also, I, I just looked at chat again. Austin, is that an attack of the Killer Tomatoes reference? It's been a long fucking time since I thought about that particular movie. Wow, that's digging deep. Man, I don't love this, but I think I just have to pass. Hell yeah, let's go. Draw for turn. <laughs> I'm the greatest. What do we even do with this hand? I. Might I say just conceding? Probably actually tribute summon Caius. Oh, that's pretty good. What's the target? Uh, we are going to target Chateau. I bet you would. Well, I still have to do this. I'll torrential. That is fine. Uh, I do have a decision to make with that in mind. Um, Dang. no, this guy out here is deciding. Okay. That is probably fine. Uh, I've never made a decision in my life, which is probably why I'm never in Winner's Finals anymore. (laughs) Fair. (laughs) I mean, the decisions I've been making have been like, don't go for access code, and those have made it to (laughs) Winner's Finals, so maybe making decisions isn't all it's cracked up to be. Seems to be walking somehow, someway. Anyway, no, I, I still don't have that. anything. I decided to play over 40, and as a decision maker in that mm. scenario, didn't work out. Okay. That is true. So head empty might be the play. But draw for turn. Oh, that's so good. Um, I think we start off with a call target Caius. That's pretty good, yeah. Okay. Let's summon Caius. We tribute the call of the haunted for the summon, triggering its effect. Hell yeah. Oh, that is true. That's exactly how it works. Let's go to battle and see what we get. Hmm. Um. I don't love it. Yeah, but that, me off that seems yeah. about right. Okay. Uh, we'll send to the grave. Main phase two. Oh, I'll set a back row. Uh, oh, and uh, d- no, nah, we're not going to do anything uh, else. Okay. All right. Finally, I am also going to get some clarity. There it is. Okay. Damn. 
damn, these guys are all crazy, but none of them do anything proactive. Uh, we're gonna bitch. Bitch? That's not the right word. We're gonna no, bitch yeah, Dog Hall. That and. <laughs> I am also gonna bitch about Dog Hall. I'm wanting to do that too. Um. You sure you don't want to destroy all my monsters by card effect? No. I, I don't know that I want to do that. I don't know that that's the vibe. Legit. I got a set in the pen. That's kind of all I'm doing. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. That's suboptimal. Uh, I mean, it's kind of to be expected given what I've been doing with my life, which is exactly nothing, but... Yeah, I do like how in both games we've played, absolutely nothing has happened, but in two completely different ways. That is true. God, there's a play I can make that actually does something, and a play that I can make that does jack all, but the play I do that does something doesn't actually accomplish that much. Um, let's go for a heavy storm here. Do you have a response? Dude, that's not great. I do not. It is okay. compulse PT. We are going to chain limit reverse targeting Sangian. Oh, that's really good. Uh, and we will declare Sangian's effect. And I am going to add to hand a lethal tomato boy. Well, that's that scary. I'm sorry, did you say illegal tomato boy? He's very illegal. Let's go to battle <laughs> phase. We'll show him how many crimes he can do. Attack and Joe Biden. Pass the I've been farmed unsustainably. Ah. <laughs> Listen, I'm a fan of Joe Biden legalizing weed, but if that guy ever tries to legalize mystic tomatoes, I'm moving to Canada. That's one drug I can't abide. All right. This is not a good a good monster, but it is a monster. Messengelato. Messengelato is okay. Uh, I will fire off ticket. That's uh, not good for me, but it is fine. It is not, and I think I don't love this, but I don't have a way to beat you, Bell, right now. So we are just gonna fucking buy Geki your tomato. Rip. Okay. Yeah. I that's am fine. sending that tomato to hell. I wow. will Where inform you now that you've made that play that you bell is at one in this format and also in my graveyard. Oh, I forgot about that. That's fine. Let's draw for turn. Hey, uh, more damage. That's a pretty good card, but it's not one that I want to activate this turn because what I want to activate this turn is change of heart. And the heart. More like change of thought. True, you got me uh -oh. there. Let's normal summon Gusto Falco. Yeah. And we are going to Synchro Summon. Hmm. And Regrettably, I am getting owned. Uh, yeah. Let's summon out Gravity Warrior off of that. <laughs> uh, and we will go to battle phase and I will swing in for 21. How is this possibly the best target? <laughs> How is this, when this card is Synchro Summoned, gain zero attack? Possibly the best thing we have. I gotta save my good level six for a play where I can guarantee you that I get to use it. And I guess you do, huh? I just got a back row. All right, let's draw for turn. Oh, that's very funny. Um, Duality. That's a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's a very good Yu-Gi-Oh card. Would you like to IO me at this time? I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, if you're offering, I'll go ahead, um, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh! <laughs> that is not bad, holy shit. So the thing is, Sangan wins me the game here, right? Okay, but if you take Pond of Greed, it might draw Sangan. It could be anything, it could be, even be a Sangan. <laughs> The awkward thing is, I think Pot of Greed is more likely to draw me into a Gusto that doesn't have enough attack to win the game right now than it is to draw into one. Oh, never mind. What am I talking about? We are adding uh, Pot of Greed to the to my hand. We got to go for it. Uh, Sangan back to the deck. Torrential Tribute back to the deck. These are bad. <laughs> he literally cards. is. They're literally not going for the auto, and it's amazing. No, 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 no. that's okay, ball. because I could just draw into the auto win, right? I'm going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a response? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to activate Imperial Auto from mm -hmm. deck. Okay, good. Uh, that was the <laughs> response that I was kind of expecting. <gasps> I am the greatest player that ever lived, Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> 
outrageous. You know what? At least I can go down <laughs> swinging. <laughs> and you know why else I am the greatest player that ever lived? Gusto Falco has exactly 600 what? attack points. Let's go! <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Oh, truly, I have earned the title The People's Duelist this game. Yeah, listen, I'll take it. And that, that, I suppose. I'm happy we managed to win a game. That was cool, but, uh, damn, that first one was not close. I really gotta start winning game ones again at some point. I just, I have not been in winner's finals in so long. It's tragic. Anyway, as for the format itself, it's okay. I think we did have some interesting games today. But I think those games only happened because we are here to make content, not really try to win games. Realistically, if we were actually trying to win, there is just nothing that beats a chaos strategy. It is clear zero in this format, it is not close, and add to that that the format is full of a bunch of sacky one-ofs like Change of Heart, Snatch Steel, Graceful, Pot of Green, and it's not my favorite thing we've ever done. But, the fact that I was able to win a game at all with Midorche is very cool. And I think there is some neat stuff to be done, even if you have the Gentleman's Out of Chaos Dragons for it to be worth anything. Hoping our next set will be a little more balanced, but who knows, that's the magical wave motion. Brief recap of this week, wave motion week 7. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this deck is busted. I don't know what else to say. I mean, you have a bunch of broken cards and you have a bunch of really easy ways to get your busted combo off and you can OTK through just about anything. So it's kind of tough to say, kind of tough to say too much about this deck that hasn't been said historically, but hey, like and subscribe. Next week's episode is going to be especially juicy. I'm sure of it. And uh, say what you think in the comments below. I always read through the comments after these episodes. It's always nice to see what you guys have to say. See you in the next step. Well, I suppose that's the life of the jank monarch, uh, getting absolutely blasted by the deck that deserves to win the episode. But even for that, I had a great time. This deck had a shockingly good showing. I had a great time playing it. And a couple of those matches were very, very cool. I had a great time. And I hope that you did too. If you had a great time, please consider hitting that thumbs up button, hitting the subscribe button to see more Wave Motion Yu-Gi-Oh! Comment in the comment section below what your favorite deck was for today, what you think you might play in Hidden Arsenal 6 format. In the meantime, if you would like to see some bonus content and support the channel and get free episodes or new episodes, bonus uh, early episodes that's where we're going with this please consider hitting me up on patreon.com slash the rjp0 link is in the description below and join the folks who are already supporting wave motion in happening i appreciate all of you being here today i hope you have a wonderful one go forward in humble confidence my friends